What's poppin' party people? It's your girl J-Dog. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Jalen. You can just call me J-Dog. So for today's video, we have a Ulta haul. Look how big this freaking box is. What the heck? Like, this box has been sitting here for so freaking long that I forgot, like, what's in it. Other than this big old thing right here, I forgot what else is in here. It's just been sitting there, and I can't open them without doing my hauls first. So I just leave them there and wait. <gasps> I forgot I got that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. So this thing, I've been obsessed with my skin lately. I've been super obsessed. I've been making sure to wash my face every morning and every night. And I have a little routine going on, so I'm super pumped about it. And I feel like my face is really, really clearing up. So I'm pumped, I'm excited. But I was thinking for when I'm feeling super bougie and I'm wanting to do a little pamper night or something like that. I got this little, it's called a True Glow, I think. Yeah, True Glow. It's like a steamer. So like you get steam and it comes out of this little guy. Does it sound so bougie? I don't know. I just thought it would be super cool. And since I've been so into my skin lately, I feel like that would be good for it. Like a good clean little detox or whatever. I'm not really sure how this goes together, but I think I'll figure that all out later. But yeah, I thought it was cool. It was a little bit pricey though, but I had points. I used my points on this. I usually save my Ulta points until the end of the year and do like a big, huge haul with all my Ulta points. Like I spend zero dollars and just use my Ulta points, but I caved and I got this. I don't know. I think it's gonna do some, some great things for my skin though. So we'll find out. So this is what I just seen just now. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so pumped I got this. I've been trying to figure out a good um, makeup cleanser <coughs> to take all my makeup off. I tried out, there's like a Neutrogena cleansing balm and I've been really trying to find like a good clean cleansing balm. So if you know of a good clean cleansing balm, you should comment below. But I feel like this one's gonna be freaking wonderful. This one's the Copery, 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 I think. I don't know, but I've been wanting it for so long. Again, it's just a little bit pricey, so I, I just keep passing it up. But this time, I was just like, do it. Just do it. And it's Coconut Melt Sil- Oh, look at all this. Sans Sulfate. I don't know what any of this means, to be honest. Paraben-free, silicone-free, sulfate-free. Cruelty free, did I say that already? Non GMO, vegan. I think it's like $28 though, so it's kind of expensive, but if it does what it needs to do, it'll be all worth it in the end. Because the Neutrogena one is just not it. It's just not doing the job. So I've been, I still been using it anyway, because I don't want it to just sit there forever. So I feel like. You guys, I got my nails done. These things don't help me do anything. This is gonna take me forever to open this. I hate them. I hate them. Every time I do it, I'm like, yay, I'm getting my nails done. I'm gonna be so cute. Oh, the fans. You can't hear me. Anyway, I'm always like, yes, so you're so cute. But yeah, no. No, I want them off now. But I've only had them for a week. I'm gonna open this later. This is gonna take me forever. That is not my hair. That is black, that's not mine. Why is this in a bag? In case it like blew up or something? Okay, so I got a new setting spray. Did not need a new setting spray, but I got one anyway. So I got the Maybelline, ooh, yes. Maybelline New York Glass Spray. Makeup finishing spray, skin looks hydrated and a dewy finish. Your girl loves a dewy finish. So I got this. I only have one other one that's for like dewy skin. So like for the dewy skin look that you're trying to go for. So I was like, you know what? Maybelline is a cheap brand, dewy skin. I think I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna have to do, does it smell? Ooh, it smells really weird. It smells like really chemically. Interesting. Interesting. Glass skin look, do we finish all day wear, used after makeup application or on its own for a hydrating look. Okay, 
I mean, I don't know. We're gonna try it out. I just don't, I don't like the bad smell. Cause that's gonna be on your face, you know? You gotta smell that shit all day. I did so many things. I do, I do this so often. I got some more nail polish. Did not need more nail polish, but I did it anyway. I've kind of been into blue lately. <laughs> so I got this like light blue. I really like light colors, especially on my toes. It just makes me look so much like more tan than I am. And I, I definitely badly need a tan, really bad. But I feel like light colors make you look super tan. But I got this darker blue one. It's just something a little different for J-Dog, I felt like. So I did like a, a really dark, red just out of the blue on my toes like a month ago and zach was like bitch yes you look cute i love that little toe i love the little toe color and i was like really like i usually do light colors and he was like yes i think you should go dark so since then i've been trying out little dark colors and i've been really liking it so i got this little dark blue i don't know i don't know is it too dark i don't know what you guys think is it cute this one's cute right for sure 10 10 but this one what do you think I just gotta try it on. I think I'm just gonna have to try it out one day. I literally just painted my toes the other day, so we're good to go for a bit. But anyway, dark little blue setup, whatever. Moving on. I forgot I got this too. Oh my god, I overdid it. Okay, so another, another makeup melt. Where my head was when I got this one. Okay, first of all, Laura Lee posted a video of this and her skin. It's flawless i don't care what you say it's flawless so i i was like okay she's using this little number maybe i should use this but i was thinking you know look it's a little stick i think it's Tulare or tulla skincare tula tulla whatever it's a little stick so you know what i was thinking how do you get that off what the hell oh i'm thinking traveling you know what i mean a little traveling whatever this is like a little stick. You could even just like put this in your purse. And so if you're out and about and you're just not feeling your makeup, <laughs> I don't know where you would be that you could just go use a sink and take this all off, but maybe at like a friend's house or something, a little sleepover action. Just put that in your bag and you're you're good to go. I don't know, I was super excited to use this when um, I had it in my car for a really long time. And then I seen Laura Lee using it and I was like, girl, your skin it's so pretty it's so clear and like glowy and bright i was like okay i'm gonna do what she's doing so i, I grabbed it i finally went for it and again this is i think it was i don't know i don't know it was a lot i think it was i don't know i don't want to say it out loud what i'm thinking i think it was like 18 dollars this is a lot jada gets a lot of money <laughs> Now I have this one to take off makeup. This one. The rest of my Neutrogena and the rest of the uh, Physician's Formula one. So I don't need any more, J Dog. Don't buy any more, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, we're almost done. Okay, so I've been super into blush. I don't exactly know how I'm feeling about the blush I used today. I forget. Oh, this is the one I used today. Okay, so I got this. Um, I got this probably like a month ago. And I tried out this. Yeah. I tried out this one in a full face of new makeup. And I feel like I really liked it. But that's the only thing that I tried out. I didn't try out either. And then... I didn't try out any of these three, just that one, and I really liked it. So I was like, okay, it seems like a good, easygoing palette. I think I like it so far, even though I only tried one. But so I was like, okay, well, let's try out the other one. I tried it out today, and when I put it on my brush, it was major sparkly. I was like, I don't think I want to sparkle. I think I just want to glow, you know? I don't think I want to sparkle. So I don't know, I put it on the brush. I mean, I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know if I like it. But I put it on at first underneath. And I and again, I 
there's a couple things that are different okay i use a different brush than what i usually use for my highlighting i used a sheen brush and it just wasn't i was like what the what is going on here this doesn't look good at all so then i went in with this little boy right over it and it still was looking really really off really off so i grabbed one of my all-time favorites i was like okay if any if anything's wrong it's got to be the brush because this is an all-time fave so i put it over and i feel like it looks a lot better so maybe it was just these i don't know at least this one i don't know i don't know like i just want to glow i don't want to sparkle i just want to glow but this is the blush that i used today i don't know it looks good right right I feel like this side looks better just look at this side <laughs> moving on i'm almost done so i've been feeling like i need an extra a little bit of extra love for my eyes for like my under eyes so i got this little mask it's a gentle steam eye mask and i seem pretty good oh oh my god it's straight up an eye mask i thought it was like the one that goes like under it's straight up an eye mask okay that's not what i thought but that's fine remove eye mask from pouch Eye mask will begin to warm up when opened. Use immediately. That's kind of cool. Tear along perfor perfor perforation. Perforation. That sounds like a retard. Place white colored side of eye mask on eyes with notched edge down. Place ear straps around ears. Okay. Eye mask may cause smudging or removal of makeup. Definitely wouldn't put this on with makeup on. Okay, seems pretty interesting. I'm not really sure. Help provide, okay, wait, wait, here we go. Helps provide the recharge you need after a long day of using digital devices. Okay, I mean, that could be useful for me because I'd be editing I'm on my phone all day. That could be useful. Sit back and relax as a warm, gentle steam approximately 104 Fahrenheit relaxes tension provides relief and soothes your hard working eyes in just 20 minutes you'll feel rejuvenated and rested all right that's pretty cool and it's citrus and there's five masks i'm pretty sure it was only like seven dollars or something like that so i'm excited to try it i i definitely thought it was like the little little patches that you put under your eye that's what i thought it was but it's not i should have read <laughs> It has this picture up at the top, and I'm pretty sure that's what it showed on Ulta. So I don't know why I thought it was that kind of eye mask, but it's fine. I was picking between this one and the e.l.f., and it definitely was this, because it was like, they were like charcoal ones or something. These ones were like $5, the e.l.f. ones, and then there's these ones, but I felt like the, what are they called? The reviews were a little bit better for this, so I was like, all right, let's do it. So let's do it. Okay, so I forgot this. This was sitting on the bed. Okay, so I got a blush palette. That's what I was talking about. And then I got off on a tangent about what blush I use today. But anyway, I've been really into blush lately. So they just came, BH Cosmetics just came out with like a lot of new stuff. I feel like they came out with two new palettes and then a highlighting palette and a blush palette and I think brushes and maybe a sponge or something. I don't really remember what else, but I seen this and I was like, yes, I have to, I have to. I mean, I don't need it, but I was like, you want that girl, you have to. It's a little Bellini. Oh my God, I thought it was just so cute. Isn't it Peach Bellini or something? Weekend Vibes Bellini. Well, yeah, they're, they're peaches, but yes, so cute. There's six little blushes in here. Yes, and I felt like they were right up my alley like these are the, the shades that i like i'm so excited to use this we have georgia peach just peachy peachy keen peach as cake life's a peach and peach please these are cute oh my god these are so cute this one seems a little dark like a little bit dark but i think i think i'm gonna try it out peach as cake i love this i'm so pumped to use this Okay, moving on. Well, we got three more things, and I did not realize I got two of these. 
Okay, so I got two Essence mascaras. I always buy high-end mascaras and I'm like, bro, there's probably some pretty good, what's it called? Drugstore mascaras. So if you know of any drugstore mascaras, you definitely should comment below and let me know. But I got Essence Lash Princess for sculpted volume and then Lash uh, Princess, they're both called, okay. False Lash Effect and I was like, I had that's right I had both of these in the car I think I had another one too volume maybe not I don't know but I guess I couldn't choose I had to get them both because we want both we want the la the false lash effect and we want volume so it's like maybe we could use these together and create some crazy magic I don't know I'm excited I love mascaras I can't I just can't I was thinking about doing like a high end like my favorite high-end mascaras for a video. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, I'm not really sure where it cut me off. It stopped recording and I just realized it, so I'm not really sure where it cut me off, but I'm hoping it was on the last thing. <laughs> but this is the last thing that I got. It's just a little travel um, blender case and it came with a sponge and I didn't even know it came with a sponge, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Not that I need more sponges, but I'll take it. I don't know, but I feel like this is super necessary for when you're traveling or even you could just put this in your purse if you need like a little pick-me-up, if you're feeling a little oily or something and you need to like tap all that back in. <laughs> I feel like this is super necessary. I don't know what, now that I'm thinking about it, what I did with my sponge before. Like what? Did you just put it? I'm pretty sure I just put it in the bag, in my like makeup bag and that's, that's like disturbing me. Like I've been really obsessed with my skin lately and I just feel like that's like really, really gross just to like pick it up out of the bag and just like, ooh, ooh, you nasty. You hella nasty. All right, does it say the prices on here? I don't think so. No, it does not. Nice. It keeps cutting me off. I'm tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. But anyway, I think this is like my favorite purchase and probably the little face sauna action thing. I don't know what it's called right now, but Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below to check my next video, and I'll see you guys there.